Hi, Sam here from CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultant's Express Tip on using the new Create 2D Graphics from Template command. If you've ever wanted to preview the plan graphics generated by your template without having to create a surface and roadway designer, there's a handy new tool in the SS2 release of V8i that will do just that. It's called Create 2D Graphics from Template and is located on the drafting menu in En-ROADS. To illustrate the differences in these two methods, I'll process my corridor using a four-lane template using the Create Surface command with the display features toggled on. Now if I select one of the features that was created using that method, using my element selection tool, notice by the handles that what we have here is actually a series of chords or a line string. If I check element information, you'll see that it is, in effect, a line string. If you would prefer the arcs to be true arcs, then you may want to investigate the new method. I'll delete these graphics, then I'll go to my drafting tools, create 2D graphics from template. Only the horizontal is used since it is a set of 2D graphics that are being generated. I can set station limits and I choose a template. I'll apply and the graphics are created. If I select a graphic, notice you don't see the handles because this is actually an arc, a microstation arc. If I go to element information, you'll see that it is a complex chain made up of lines and arcs. I happen to have picked one of the arcs. If you want to get the information from it, you can actually pick the arc here and get all of the geometry information for the arc. You can also annotate it, dimension it, copy it, whatever you need to do in MicroStation. Also note that the graphics are displayed with the symbologies derived from the feature styles assigned to the template points, which can serve as a quick check before moving on to Roadway Designer. What this does not give you are the side slope lines, nor does it allow you to use multiple templates in one run. However, you can use station ranges for each display. Thanks for watching. If you're not on our email list, be sure to visit our website, cadprodinc.com, and register to receive email updates whenever we publish a tip. You can also follow us on Twitter, at CAD Productivity, or on Facebook, CAD Productivity.